The James Webb Space Telescope has been delivering spectacular images from space for two years now. This powerful telescope is the most advanced of its kind, peering into the deepest and oldest secrets of the cosmos. Not only has it provided astronomers with groundbreaking insights, but it has also unveiled several tantalizing mysteries. Questions linger about the existence of slumbering galaxies that, according to our current understanding, should not exist. Another mystery revolves around the Hubble constant, which describes the expansion rate of the universe. The values measured by Webb simply do not match our existing models. These are the types of questions that experts are currently racing to answer. Fortunately, the James Webb Telescope is not just a tool for unraveling space's most baffling mysteries. Its images also convey an overwhelming, almost awe-inspiring beauty, reminding us of how small we are in the grand scheme of things. Humans often describe themselves as the crown of creation. Whether we accept this title is a personal decision, but in terms of who or what truly deserves recognition in the universe, it's clear that our understanding is still evolving. Before we misinterpret its findings, it's crucial to note that the James Webb Telescope has not discovered some ominous force behind the cosmos. Instead, it has collaborated with Hubble to provide an unprecedented view of the pillars of creation. These pillars are among the most famous motifs in modern space exploration, located about 7,000 light years away in the Eagle Nebula. In this region, we see the glowing pillars of a stellar cradle, first captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. Stellar life begins in dense, cool clouds of gas and dust. When these gas clumps collapse under their own gravity, a protostar is formed. This protostar attracts matter from its surroundings, and once it accumulates enough mass, it ignites hydrogen fusion and becomes a full-fledged star. Stars often do not develop in isolation. They exist in collective alliances, like the Pillars of Creation. While Hubble's 1995 snapshot reveals the structure in the visible spectrum, the James Webb Telescope examined it in the infrared. The combination of these images offers entirely new insights into the structure, with its finger-like outgrowths even larger than our solar system. In the dusty cocoon of these pillars, countless newborn protostars lie dormant. Their intense radiation and stellar winds have blown holes into the dust clouds, creating an unmistakable appearance. Given this breathtaking sight, it's no wonder the pillars of creation were one of the first subjects examined by the James Webb Telescope in 2022. NASA has now combined the Hubble and Webb images, revealing even more details. The infrared images uncover stellar babies and cool gas components, while the visible light captures the scorching hot, glowing gases of the star forge. This spectacle is not merely a static image, it's also available as a video. Watching the corresponding clip treats viewers to a three-dimensional flight through the pillars of creation. As the view transitions between visible and infrared light, we are reminded of the importance of exploring different aspects of the same structure with multiple telescopes. The family portrait of stars is no less fascinating than the combined view of the pillars of creation. Webb recently snapped an image of the Serpent's Nebula, located 1,300 light-years away, which is also a stellar nursery. This nebula is a reflection nebula, producing no light of its own but illuminated solely by the stars within and around it. For past telescopes, these nebulae presented significant optical barriers. However, Webb's camera can penetrate the dust and gas, making visible what has eluded researchers for so long. In the images, the gas and dust are vibrant shades of orange, red, and blue. We can also observe the intense sparkle of countless young stars. Some of these dazzling celestial bodies are merely 100,000 years old, still in their infancy in astronomical terms. Yet one day, they will have the mass of our Sun. One particularly striking detail in this star family portrait is the flame-like structures in the top left of the image, 
resembling colossal shreds. These are the traces of gas and radiation outflows from young stars, previously visible only as blurred spots or completely invisible in earlier images. NASA compares these protostellar outflows to snow falling from the sky during a strong storm. This is the first image to show that these outflows point in the same direction. For researchers, this provides crucial evidence suggesting that young stars tend to rotate in the same direction when their gaseous birth envelopes collapse. Now, what about the black bars in the bottom left and top right of the image? Did NASA apply the sensor pen to obscure UFOs? Unfortunately, it's not quite that exciting. The black rectangles simply indicate missing data. As of now, there are 6,911 exoplanets in 4,941 systems, and the number of known planetary worlds orbiting stars other than our Sun is increasing daily. Researchers have already added unusual celestial bodies to their star maps as part of their planet hunt. Notably, there's the gas giant HD 189733b, located only 63 light years away which has a scent reminiscent of rotten eggs. While this may sound strange or amusing, it marks the first evidence of hydrogen sulfide on an exoplanet. Beyond this, experts have pinpointed a series of nearby exoplanets, some Earth-sized and potentially life-friendly. Among these, K218b has garnered attention for being a suspected ocean world where life may have already unfolded. Webb's near-infrared spectrometer detected potential biosignatures on K218b. Specifically, it identified the spectral signatures of methane, carbon dioxide, and dimethyl sulfide, DMS. The latter is produced on Earth by marine plankton and during the decomposition of organic substances. DMS serves as a primary supplier of atmospheric sulfur, creating the characteristic marine odor. However, interpreting the DM's signal on K218b is a complex matter. This signature was not particularly pronounced in Webb's data, and only emerged when analyzed in a specific manner. Thus, a little patience is required as experts work to clarify the background of this exciting discovery. In stark contrast, Another snapshot taken by Webb in a completely different location reveals a significant milestone. Despite the numerous exoplanets already identified, images of these alien worlds remain scarce. Most often, they depict young, hot gas giants, which appear as bright spots in the infrared spectrum. However, a few weeks ago, Elizabeth Matthews and her team from the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in Heidelberg succeeded in making a cold, older exoplanet directly visible. The groundwork for this image was established by studying the triple star system Epsilon Indy, located just 12 light years away. This cosmic trio consists of two brown dwarfs and the orange dwarf star Epsilon Indy. Earlier spectral analyses had suggested the existence of a large planetary companion. Later studies with Webb's Miri spectrograph confirmed that the system indeed harbors an exoplanet, but it is located in a different position than previously believed. The reason for this discrepancy is that earlier studies had significantly underestimated the mass and orbit of this giant gas planet. What we have here is a celestial body that can confidently be called a super Jupiter. Jupiter, the largest member of our solar system, has a diameter of around 140,000 kilometers and a mass of 318 Earth masses. However, the bright point of light detected in Epsilon Indy's images is likely six times the mass of our Jupiter. This exoplanet, named Epsilon Indy b, orbits the main star Epsilon Indy in a relatively eccentric orbit. Its greatest distance corresponds to roughly the distance between the Sun and Neptune. As a result, this super-Jupiter takes a staggering 200 years to complete a full orbit. 
This eccentric orbit explains the deviations observed in earlier studies, which had detected the planet at the closest point to the star in its orbit, incorrectly placing it in a circular path. The new analysis revealed not only a correction but also the exoplanet's characteristics. For example, the average temperature here drops to around 0 degrees Celsius. With an age of approximately 3.5 billion years, this gas giant is no longer a youthful planetary body. Of the 25 exoplanets that have been directly imaged to date, all were less than 500 million years old, with the majority being under 100 million years old. In this context, Epsilon Indb is not only the coldest but also the oldest exoplanet that has been directly imaged to date. The images hold immense potential for providing new insights. Aged exoplanets of this nature are ideal for testing our models of planetary development and gathering information about the later stages of extrasolar worlds. However, Epsilon Indb still harbors a few mysteries. Some of its radiation in the shorter wavelength range appears to be absorbed. There may be clouds in the gas giant's atmosphere responsible for this suppression of infrared radiation. Chemical compounds like methane, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide could also be contributing factors. Fortunately, experts are already planning to investigate the implications of these findings. Provided everything goes smoothly, we should soon clarify the true reasons for the suppressed radiation flux. Lastly, don't forget to join our community. Subscribe to Waves Discovery and never miss an exciting video again. We look forward to seeing you in our next episode.